I like AirPods Pro. I have generation one, I bought them on day one, but I got them replaced twice already during the warranty. I got some cracking noise in them and now they are out of the warranty and broken again. So eh, I decided to buy generation two AirPods and as soon as I heard that they are available in local shop, I decided to drive and buy one. So here I am. The package and Herefords itself looks about the same, there is not big difference between first and second generation. Yeah, case is a bit different from outside, but that is it. All the difference are inside. First generation AirPods Pro has H1 chip and second generation has H2 chip, but let's talk about differences later. Yeah, and we got one more silicone size for AirPods, but unfortunately that is not extra big, but extra small. So I still have to use the biggest of them, L size silicone, but unfortunately for me, they work for me only when I'm, I don't know, sitting straight or walking around but as soon as I'm starting to do any sport activities, AirPods just falling out from my ears. Connection with phone is effortless and easy, so I connected AirPods, so that yeah, it could be good to charge them, and so yeah, I left them on charger and went to sleep to give them a full day of test on the next day. Usually I'm waking up at about 6 o'clock, I don't have any fancy morning routine, I'm just washing my face, grabbing my airpods, keys, wallet and going out for a walk with the dog. So that is my first airpod using session, usually when I'm walking with dog I'm listening some podcasts or audiobooks and yeah, hell, today is my birthday, I almost forgot. After 50 to 30 minutes walk, I am jumping in a car, driving my wife to the train station and getting back to home. Sure, that could be cool to show some fancy morning routine with ice bath or hour long meditation, stuff like that, but uh, to be frank, I do not do that. I'm trying to exercise regularly, but it happens three to four times in a week, so let's skip that. My kids are going to school, I'm eating my breakfast and then boring stuff happens. I'm just sitting in front of my computer for quite a few hours and working. And while I'm working, usually I'm listening some music, something in the background. I'm doing that now using my AirPods Pro. So, this is my early morning work session. Usually I'm spending first hours of the morning for most important work, that could be work on private projects, that could be writing, uh, but anyways, I have airpods in and i'm listening some music but today i forgot actually i know i know that yesterday but on the morning when i wake woke up i forgot that today i have my birthday kelly james actually quite dope what do you think great start of the day so i'm listening for podcasts for a few hours already no actually for hour about an hour and currently i'm switching to my mac with airpods pro and they're working just fine but i'm already feeling that they are kind of trying to leave my air i had the problem that was the same with generation with first generation of airpods pro they're they're loose in my ears they are getting loose in my ears i don't know why but they're kind of slowly but slippering out from them and I have to kind of fix them on place. Not all the time, but very often, that is annoying. Okay, back to work. I spent a few hours working on personal projects, then switched on freelancing tasks and was working on a few more hours. At about the noon, I decided to pack my bag, grab my Fitbits Pro, MX4 Sony headphones and go to work from coffee shop to give a test to noise cancelling and uh, compare all those three headphones to see is there a difference in noise cancelling and if it is how big and so on so let's go 
Battery life looks quite good. I'm using now it is uh, midday already, and I'm using AirPods from the morning. Not playing sound all the time, but periodically, and it, I still have one third from the battery in, in them. I spent second part of the day working from coffee shop and that was quite noisy place. Coffee machines, coffee grinder, music, coffee shop was also quite full, there was plenty of people working exactly as you may imagine. Uh, I will not play sounds from coffee shop because yeah, there is that music I will get copyright strikes, so but believe me, that was noisy as average coffee shop. So I tested all the three headphones. Beats Fit Pro fits my ears very well and um, noise cancellation in them is great. So it was working just fine. I was able to hear some louder noises when you kind of trying to hear noise then it was possible to hear noise throughout Fitbits Pro. Then I switched to AirPods Pro. In theory AirPods Pro should have better noise cancellation because AirPods Pro has H2 chip which has improvements for noise cancelling and Fitbits Pro still has H1 chip so those should be better but I have to say that I didn't feel big difference yes AirPods Pro 2 was a little bit better than Fitbits Pro but please take in account that they are not fitting my ears perfectly well so you may have different results I expected that Sony MX4 or XM4 okay Sony was a very hard name will be absolute winner but I have to say that the difference was smaller than I expected. Yes, sound is richer and better comparing with both small headphones, but I would not say that is day and night difference. Also about noise cancellation, if uh, music in my headphones were playing on the same level, then I would say that they were the same. Yes, if I will crank up the music and make sound in my Sony's louder, then I would isolate myself completely from surrounding sounds. Is noise cancellation better in them? I would say yes, but just because you can make them sound louder but then that music in my headphones become too destructive for myself and i don't really need that music to load and that noise cancellation so absolute because music and speaking was removed completely louder noises if i am trying to listen to them they come true but if i was working and was deep in focus i didn't hear them at all so yeah i will say that all three of the headphones was working just fine for my needs. I do not see big difference between them, so any of them would work for me for noise cancellation purposes. So I spent the rest of the day working here, had my lunch, <laughs> figured out that I'm eating way too much eggs probably. Uh, but yeah, lunch was tasty, highly recommending this coffee shop uh, if you are in my city. And fun fact, yeah, I got a call from FedEx Courier and got a package which should be one more headphones, but I will unbox that on the another on next video. After coming home, I spent a bit of time live streaming and programming, but then my family came home and we just a little bit celebrated my birthday because a real celebration will be tomorrow. But whatever, who cares? Uh, which headphones should you get? Big Sony headphones has the best battery life. They are working to up to 30 hours, if I remember correctly. But AirPods Pro and Beats also handle about the same amount of battery life, playing non-stop up to six hours and 24 hours together with case because but uh, headphones are charged in case. And currently I charged batteries. I had them in case while we were kind of sitting and have the wine and all that stuff. And currently battery is full and uh, case is halfway full so seems that i could get those two work days with kind of one charge the best possible sound yeah sony are better because bigger headphones always will be better but does it kind of make sense to carry around so huge package i don't know for me personally no it is not so my choice always will be one of those <laughs> And yeah, if you are like me and headphones are falling out from the airs and you would like to use them when you are physically active and do any sports, so that is the only choice you have to get those. 
and actually those are cheaper as well comparing with airpods pro so why <laughs> should you get airpods pro if those are staying better in airs and are cheaper so airpods pro has second generation h2 chip in airpods itself and chip in the case this case don't have any chip and that is just kind of dump charger this one has a chip and you can find it using find my in iphone also sweat and water resistance this case and headphones are sweat water resistance beats headphones yeah headphones are but we have we don't we know nothing about case that is another aspect and charging this charger is highly annoying half of my USB-C cables doesn't fit this, this case and it is really annoying to charge it. Does it make sense to pay more? Probably no. Should you upgrade if you have AirPods uh, first generation? Also probably no. Yes, yeah, sound is better. Yes, noise cancellation is better, but I would not say that better to upgrade from generation one. Okay, that was it. And yeah, my birthday is over already. It is 2.30 at the night, but you can hit that subscribe and like buttons and let me know that that is kind of happy birthday or you can join this channel if you like to support it. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.